Happy Friday. I'm so excited. It's Friday. What does that mean? Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I'm just as busy on Saturday and Sunday as I am on Friday, but it doesn't matter. It's Happy Friday. Let me tell you something. I wasn't going to post today, and sometimes when I don't post, a few of you send me messages. Are you okay? I'm going to skip once in a while because let me tell you, I am working on a video, and I'm trying to catch one photo. And I think when I put the next video up, which is going to be a new type of fountain I put together, you're going to get so excited. You're not going to need anything but a scissors. You won't need any soldering iron or nothing on this one. And it has been so fun. I've actually had the unit put together for weeks now. And I've been waiting for the right time because I kept thinking I could do it this way. I could do it that way. And what I've been doing today is trying to get it done and do the hummingbirds. I have gone through so much food. I can't believe it. And we're only in the afternoon. What time are we? We're just like 3.30 and they just keep coming in. I keep filling. I've been making gallons and guess what? Remember I told you all the Orioles left? They left before the storm. They left about a week before Hillary hit the tropical storm and then they came back. So we've got them back. I don't know if we have as many, but I'm going to probably have to say yes, because I had four of them in the garden the other day trying to take a bath. And then I've had them here on the feeders where the hummingbirds are just loaded, like a dozen of them. So I'm going to say they are back. They're going to be going down south soon, but they shouldn't be gone until September. So they actually did leave because of the storm. Where they went, I don't know. They came back the day of the storm because wherever they went, it wasn't as good, which was so funny. The hummingbirds are starting to come through. By September, we will have thousands, and I'm not sure how that's going to work because we've already got that many if I'm going through three gallons of food a day that I make. So that's a lot of food, which means I might be going through four and five. I don't know, but we'll see. I've got feeders set up all over. I'm trying to spy on a certain, well, it's the fountain I did. So I wanted to give you an update. Everything is good. We, you know, we went back through the gardens. We thought we didn't lose anything, but we might have lost a lemon tree because a laurel sumac tree came down we didn't know and it fell on top of a lemon tree i haven't even seen it it's down the hill somewhere and gary told me yesterday guess what i hiked down the hill and a tree fell on top of the lemon tree so we'll have to see it how badly it got damaged and if it will make it and i guess he's going to have to take that tree out and gary on the wood chips we got the other day he's still shoveling right now he shovels into the night and then they called yesterday and said, hey, we got another load. And I said, no, no, no. He's still trying to move those out of the driveway because he had to test it with his truck when he drove through to make sure that he can drive past it because it's going to take longer than he thought. Yes, he needs a bobcat, but this is kind of going to be, I think for now, a one-time thing. I don't use a lot of wood chips personally. I like making my own compost with you know kitchen scraps leaves from the garden it works fine for me the wood chips are to put around the backyard where it floods and that will be more for the winter where we park our cars so instead of having it soak into the mud or you get out of the car and you step in there and it's like ah slosh boom you're full you know to the ankle in mud it will be wood chips and it won't be mud which is really nice literally you're walking on air you're walking on wood chips when you're walking through the mud that's underneath but the wood chips are on top so that's what he wants it for i have a feeling he will be ordering another load of wood chips because i told him to call back in about a week because he said he really did want so we'll see once he moves that he's not going to rent a bobcat because it costs a fortune we simply can't afford it and and i told him maybe you can do something else so he may move some of my totes so the truck can get back there to dump another load if he needs it that's why he said, let's wait and see when he moves it in the back. Kind of spread some around the front yard, I believe. Yeah, he did a little bit. But he wants, the main thing was, he wants to get it in the backyard. Look at that. Look at this. He's got his perch up there. He knocked out the cup. I usually put a dot up there and he knocked it out because he wants to sit there. So every time I put the dot there, it ends up down below. So wait for the next video if you're making solar fountains because I think you're going to go wild. Everybody's going to have the parts everybody except for you'll have to order a solar panel kit i ordered like five so it's just like they're so cheap right now they're like if you buy six they're what nine dollars a piece i've been buying sometimes six 
I know I'm setting them up everywhere. I'm going to have to. If we're going to have tens of thousands, we better not have tens of thousands of hummingbirds. They love their bass. But the new one, you know, I just, I give them away too. I make them and then I give to my neighbor. It was so funny. I don't want to get into a big, long thing, but I gave her one and she was real quiet. And I said, how's it going? And she says, it's okay. And I thought, okay. So I walked over there. I said, what's going on? And she said, it broke. I said, what do you mean it broke? It's only been a few months. No, it broke. And so I said, can I see it? Did you actually throw the solar unit away? She says, no, no, I still have that. And I showed him. It didn't break. It got some little branches and leaves inside. And all I had to do was pop it. And I, I was starting to take it apart. I said, just take it apart. Take a little flywheel out. Swish it in some water and put it right back. And then her husband said, no, no, no. Let me do it. I can do it. He want Because he had no idea that they came apart. And he's a real fix-it guy. In a matter of seconds, he had it. So now she put it into her fountain. And she's running it that way. Look at the Orioles. So they don't break. And some, so many of you, well, I shouldn't say so many, a few of you have come and said, oh, they break. They don't break. They get dirt in there. They get hard water in there that can be just cleaned off. Uh, it doesn't take much. A tiny feather gets in there. Some of them have these filters that don't do a thing, really, because a lot of times it's just a little bit a buildup of algae. So it slows the little tiny propeller down and that will cause it to not go. They rarely break. I'm telling you, I've got some of these running that are four and five years old out in the garden now. My first ones. Now, if a rat chews through the cord, guess what? Gary puts that together. If you cut through the cord as you're going through and trimming your plants, yes, you got to put it back together. Gary's done that. Occasionally, one may break down if it wears out, but it does take years. So do not throw it away. I have multiple videos on how to just pop open the side. You can either use a little knife. Sometimes I actually use my fingernail and just pop it open, clean it out, put it right back, and we're back in business. So wait for tomorrow. I hope to get it up tomorrow. I'm really working on, you know, getting it together because there's a whole bunch of little pieces on how to put it together. Different ideas and tips and tricks like I always do. But it's going to be easy. No soldering iron. A simple scissors. That's about it. And some of the some of you have been asking me about those jumbo straws. What is it called? Boba? There's a drink that is made with tapioca. So you're starting to find the straws more and more. Walmart's got them. And I think they're $8 for a package. I actually go to a small store. And they've got it for... They had it last time I went in there for a dollar for 50 The first time I went in there was two twenty nine. I bought it. Then I went back, it was $1.29. I bought another package. I used it to drink too. And then I went back and they were a dollar. And I thought for a dollar, I'm going to buy a couple more just to have. But look around because they're jumbo straws. You might be able to go into a coffee shop or a drink shop and ask them, hey, you know, I forgot my straw. Or do you have a straw? They'll probably give it to you. They're plastic. You only need one. And you can always go to a tropical fish store or the hardware store and get tubing for these fountain kits too. So I just wanted to say, we're fine. Everything's good. I'm just busy today, and poor Gary is shoveling all that wood chips. I think he makes himself extra work. I don't know, but he really wanted it. He had a reason, and that's it. So everybody have a wonderful Friday, and I'm going to go back to try to get my video done so I can get it up this weekend, because I think so many of you are going to get a kick out of it. I absolutely love it. With that, have a wonderful day. Look at all the hummingbirds. Oh, the tea kettle's going. That's my cue. Get these birds fed. And now I'm going to go and get these feeders full because look, I've got them sitting here. I've been dragging them in and I'm washing them and cleaning them and putting them back. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat with your grub. Bye-bye.